Good morning, everyone. For those of you that don't know me, my name is Liz Sorelli. I do whole body health, so everything from Reiki to life coaching to mental health counseling, meditation, yoga, assisted stretching, and personal training. So I know there's a couple of you out there that have um, some injuries, you're wanting to get in your regular movements, but you've got a sprained ankle or some kind of limitation at the moment. Um, so I'm just going to do a quick little chair yoga video for you that you can use while you're recovering or if you're kind of just starting to get some movement into your body, you need something nice and gentle, you're pretty sedentary during the day at a desk for your work, or you're just mature in your age and are looking for some gentle movement. So We'll begin by, you want to grab a chair that um, hopefully doesn't have, you know, armrests on the side that can get in the way a little bit, but something that, you know, you feel comfortable, sturdy. Um, and once you take the seat there, we're just going to go ahead and begin with just stretching the arm over the top of the head, getting a nice little side body stretch. And we're just going to do this with the rhythm of our breath here. So that's two, three, four, five. We're gonna go to 20 here. I'm just going as far as you can to get a nice stretch. If anything feels painful or you're hitting a place of discomfort, you can go ahead and just modify that for your own body. I've been losing count, but we're gonna keep going. <laughs> we'll call that 12. <laughs> And 17, 18, 19, and a nice little estimated 20. All right, so roll those shoulders out a little bit, just getting a little movement in there. And then we're going to do some hip openers. So you might um, see somebody doing this in a tabletop position in yoga, and you're welcome. Um, if it feels more comfortable for you, you'd like to get on the floor, you can certainly do um, this movement in tabletop too. So we're just going to lift this right leg up and we're going to go ahead and we're going to go in circles here, just kind of opening up those hips. So four, five, six, seven, eight nine, 10, and then we're gonna go ahead and reverse that direction for another 10. That's five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. And we're gonna go to the other side. And you can make these circles as small or as large as you'd like, whatever feels the most comfortable in your body. So that's seven, eight, nine, ten, and reversing directions. One, two, three. Six, little pop there, seven, eight, nine, ten. Great job. All right, so giving yourself a little break, a little sip of water if you need it. And then we're going to go ahead and we're going to bring our arms up to a goal post. And we're just going to be opening up the chest here. So we're going to do 20 of these. So one, two, 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Good job. So shake those arms out a little bit. And then just coming to the edge of your chair here, we're going to do a little toe touches. So bringing your arms up. And we're going to go to the opposite foot. And if you have a foot injury or an ankle injury and you can't put pressure on that, you can always rest your feet out, maybe putting a bolster like this one or a pillow underneath anything, anything supports that you need to make yourself comfortable. That would be great and always welcome. So we're going to do 10 on each side. So one, two. For a total of 20, three, four, five, Fourteen, fifteen, you're almost there. Sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Awesome. Rolling out those shoulders again. Go ahead and give yourself a little arm stretch here. And then coming to the edge of your seat, we're just gonna go ahead and do some leg lifts. So we're gonna do 10 on each side. So let's get you started here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. We're going to switch to the other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. And if you'd like to do a little stretch here and you have the flexibility to do so, that's great. If the flexibility isn't there, that's okay. You can skip this or any other parts of the video and just move on to the next. So I'm gonna go ahead and cross my leg here and to bring it right past in towards me on my thigh. And I'm just gonna lean forward and push just gently on my calf here calf and shin together and just leaning forward. You should feel a nice little stretch here in the piriformis and you can just hold this for a couple seconds here if you're getting a good stretch. Again, if there's any pain or discomfort wanting to make sure you back out of that a little bit or just come out of the position altogether and switching to the other side. And if yours looks like this and you're getting a stretch by leaning forward, that's okay. This leg doesn't have to go all the way down, um, but hopefully with some work and some movement, we can gain some flexibility there. So again, putting this leg across onto the opposite thigh and then hinging forward at the hips, holding and just putting very, very gentle pressure on the calf and the shin. And then coming up, 
and we'll do some arm circles here. So we're gonna do 30 in one direction and 30 in the opposite. So I will count for you. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, and thirty. Go ahead and shake those arms out. And then we're going to go in the reverse direction. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Eighteen, nineteen, twenty, and thirty. Good job. So that's just a short segment of some exercises you can do for chair yoga. So go ahead and leave some comments below. Let me know if you'd like to see anything different um, and whether this was helpful for you. So I hope you have a great day and continue moving and getting healthy.